The field of AI is dynamic. New developments appear regularly. How can you know which of the hundreds of available AIs is the greatest and which is outdated? Which AI can help you accomplish more in less time and which AI requires a serious upgrade? To tackle these questions, we're going to explore the exciting realm of AI today. Among the AIs on our list, we'll focus on the three strongest contenders and the three most widely utilized. Chat GPT-4 Microsoft's Bing with its Chat GPT system and Google's BART AI. But stick with me since the state of AI is evolving. New rivals arise out of nowhere and soon, in a matter of months, weeks or even days, these AI models have undergone significant evolution. It's a rapid shift and soon we'll see these models looking very different from how they know. Just a disclaimer. We'll concentrate on the free chat-based AIs for this discussion. And even though ChatGPT offers a premium version for $20 a month, we will use its free version for fair and just comparison. This video will be divided into three parts. First, we'll delve into the large language model architecture of these three contenders. Next, we'll explore their chat interfaces. And finally, will examine their unique capabilities to determine which one reigns as the most powerful. Let's start with LLMs, or Large Language Models. These are sophisticated deep learning algorithms built to understand written human language. Large language models are essentially deep learning models that have been taught to comprehend and generate text in a matter that is eerily similar to human language. ChatGPT is driven by a substantial language model rooted in OpenAI's GPT 3.5 framework. This language model has been trained on an extensive corpus of text from the internet, granting it the ability to comprehend and produce responses that mimic human language. It's finely tuned for interactive discussions which makes it ideal for participating in chat-based dialogues and delivering comprehensive responses to a wide array of inquiries. ChatGPT leverages the capabilities of this robust language model to simulate authentic and meaningful conversations with users. Google's LLM Lambda is their latest research breakthrough and adds pieces to one of the most tantalizing sections of that puzzle, conversation. BARD harnesses Google's proprietary model called Lambda, a robust language model developed by Google AI. Lambda boasts a wide range of capabilities, including text generation, language translation, creative content creation, and providing informative answers to questions. In June 2022, there was a notable buzz around Lambda when a Google engineer named Blake Lemoine hinted at signs of sentience in Google's AI. These insights shed light on the subtle reminders found in BARD, underscoring its experimental character and the need for responsible utilization. In a recent announcement, Google CEO Sundar Pichai indicated that BARD will eventually transition to Palm. Boasting an impressive 540 billion parameters demonstrates substantial powers. It bears a resemblance to ChatGPT as it possesses the capability to generate code for applications and web design. Nonetheless, akin to all AI systems, Google underscores the importance of acknowledging that tool may not consistently deliver precise results. In order to address that issue, they developed Palm 2, the next-generation big language model that relies on Google's machine learning and responsible AI breakthroughs. Better than the first prior state-of-the-art LLMs, including Palm, it excels in advanced reasoning tasks like code and math, categorization, and question-answering translation multilingual fluency, and natural language generation. It was designed with compute optimal scaling, dataset mixture improvements, and model architecture improvements to perform these tasks. Before delving into their chat interface, let's take a moment to understand why it's important. A chat interface is important for several reasons. First, it makes talking to software and services easy by mimicking our normal communication style. Second, it makes it more accessible to users with disabilities or linguistic problems who can use text-to-speech or speech-to-text technology. Thirdly, 
It simplifies work and reduces cognitive strain compared to standard graphical interfaces. Improving efficiency, personalization, 24-7 availability and scalability, and data interfaces. They also automate tedious operations and work across platforms and devices, making them useful for individuals and organizations. Let's start with Bing Chat Interface. Bing's chat interface stands out for how minimalistic and easy to use it is. It is located right next to Bing, making it easy to toggle between AI chat and the standard search options. One thing to keep in mind though, is that switching to Bing's search page by accident when scrolling with a mouse can be a little annoying at times. Therefore, Bing provides you with the three distinct dialogue options. The balance style is the default, but you can also select the exact or creative variants. And here's a neat features. The UI color shifts to reflect the style you've selected. You can access some cool features including Bing Image Creator powered by Doll E. If you go for the creative route, it's quite cool that you can use it to make pictures out of words. The screenshot presentation of the text is another strength of Bing. The AI seems to be having a discussion with you in real time, adding to the sense of immersion. Bing also includes a number of emoticons at the conclusion of its comments for an extra sense of humanity. It's the attention to detail like this that makes the conversation flow more easily and enjoyable. Bing used to have a 20 chat limit per session. But Microsoft has now again increased AI-powered Bing Chat's turn limit to 30 chats per session and 300 chats per day to increase its usability. Now comparing Bard's chat interface. Bard's chat interface differs significantly from other AI systems like Bing and ChatGPT. One noticeable distinction is how it presents responses. While Bard delivers all the text at once, which can sometimes feel overwhelming or less human-like, Bard has a unique charm. When you ask a question, a spinning star icon next to the prompt window gives the impression that the system is actively processing and generating a response. Then, the answers suddenly appear much like a sudden burst of information. The spontaneity sets Bard apart, but does it always convey a complete human-like impression? What truly distinguishes Bard is its freedom from limitations of the number of questions you can ask. Unlike Bing and ChatGPT, Bard doesn't impose any restrictions or time limits. You can keep asking questions without constraints, although it's worth noting that Bard tends to provide detailed and worldly answers, so be prepared for in-depth explanations. After Bard provides a response, you have several interaction options. You can give feedback with a thumbs up or thumbs down gesture to indicate if the response was helpful. Additionally, you can request an entirely new response on the same topic. If you're eager to delve deeper into a subject, you can initiate a Google search, opening a new window for further exploration. These flexibility and control enhance your overall search experience with BARD. Regarding chat history, both Bing and BARD do not store your chat history or transcripts. However, BARD retains the prompts you provide while excluding the corresponding responses. In terms of interface and user experience, Bing stands out with its polished look emojis and generative AI creator. Moreover, Bing offers the convenience of a mobile app for both iPhone and Android users, ensuring easy access to Bing Chat while on the go. It even incorporates voice functionality, enhancing its several user-friendliness and conveniences. These features contribute to Bing's positive overall experience. Moving on to ChatGPT4 from OpenAI. OpenAI recently added new features. Now, users can turn off chat records and training. This shows how much OpenAI wants to keep getting better. ChatGPT is always being updated with new tools and improvements. ChatGPT users can switch between different versions, which gives them a lot of power over their conversations. You can also give feedback by liking or not liking an answer, and you can even come up with your own responses. This gives you a lot of control over the conversation. The interface of ChatGPT is made to be easy to use and similar to other platforms you may already be familiar with. It stands out because of how easy it is to use. With ChatGPT, you can go back to talks you've already had. You can even share your information, such as chat transcripts, which is a handy way to keep track of your conversations. ChatGPT is very good at imitating how people type. 
just like Bing. This makes it feels like you're chatting with a real person. Also, ChatGPT gives users the choice to use dark mode, which makes the whole thing look better. Who wins the ongoing competition between the free AI chatbots built into popular web browsers? Bart's engineering might need to be updated, but it should soon work in creative ways with Google Search. Bart has some problems, like sometimes not being able to help or repeat itself. Google, on the other hand, keeps all messages unless the user turns off that option. Bard does not have an AI image creator or a mobile phone app right now. Still, it's important to remember that AI is changing quickly and that these things can change quickly as well. Bing's user interface is intelligently developed for everyone's convenience. It provides precise, reliable responses with vital information and includes convenient features like the image creator and a mobile app. Bing's new chat features boost productivity and simplifies tasks. Users seeking efficient interaction benefit from these enhancements. However, there are some downsides. The 30-question limit can frustrate customers with several questions. Accidentally moving between Bing search and conversation can also be annoying. OpenAI's GPT chatbot is now part of Bing, which is integrated into Microsoft Edge browser. This fusion uses Microsoft Prometheus model, OpenAI GPT-4 dataset, and Bing's search index. This video uses data from 2021, according to a CNET article by Imod Khan. ChatGPT may feel behind while asking random questions, but it can receive updates anytime to be current. The search index enhances Bing's conversation functionality by providing more information. With its intuitive design and consistent results, Bing has a leg up on the competition and the continuing AI arms race. It is important to keep in mind, though, that this is a relatively young area of study and things can change quickly when new discoveries are made. Don't forget to subscribe so you can always be up to date on AI-related developments here at the AI's Uncovered News channel. We've got you covered and ready to decode all the AI news that's fit to unwrap.